This week's INMPI brought to you by DigiKey Native Fruit is from Cruze. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Yeah. Um, I, I watched the video, of course, I've forgotten already. But um, Cruze makes um, mechatronic and electronic control stuff. And you know, it's interesting, we haven't yet um, put a PLC on INMPI because usually they're like massive and they're expensive and, and they're complicated. I'm like, what would I use this for? Um, but I saw these adorable, uh, you know, slim style PLCs. And I was like, this is so cute. And I'm a sucker for anything cute um, and electronic. So I picked one up. Um, so these are like the tiniest, they're basically, you know, the size of a, um, like a fuse holder, basically. It's a tiny little logic controller um, with four inputs and four outputs. Uh, and you can run off of uh, 24 volts or 120 or you know, AC voltage or 240 AC voltage. And um, inside is logic that you can program and what's interesting about PLCs is, you know, when you first, you know, especially if you come from microcontrollers and you look at a PLC and you're kind of like, well, why don't I just use, you know, a microcontroller for this? What's, what's the big deal if it's just taking two inputs and ending them and then counting them? Why not just um, use it? You know, why am I buying a thing for a hundred bucks? Why am I not using something that's, you know, a $5 microcontroller board? And this is the reason. Um, so all of these certifications that um, there's so many of them that they don't even fit on the screen legibly. Um, th this has them, it's UL certified, it's um, you know, IP rated, it's um, tested, it's assured, it's uh, reliable electronics and for automation, um, you really need something that is reliable and will run um, continuously forever without um, even a little bit of dust getting it damaged or um, you know, uh, misprogrammed bootloader um, you know, brown out, you know, erasing all the flash. So um, these are, you know, meant for automation, but I think they could also be used, you know, at, at this size and cost for, uh, you know, other robotics and, um, you know, home automation and robotic automation, automation type projects. So one thing that is um, neat about this one is it's Bluetooth programmable, which is, which is interesting. I, I remember seeing PLCs that were UR programmable, but this one actually uses um, a Bluetooth dongle. Now, it's a, I looked up the VID, it's actually a, a Blue Giga, which means that it's the Bluetooth dongle, yes, it's Bluetooth, but it's like Bluetooth to like your, basically, like you connect to it over USB, but it presents itself as a COM port. And that's actually really good because Native USB is like a real pain to program on every platform. Um, and by using a, basically UART to Bluetooth, it, it'll work under emulation, it'll work like under Windows 7, it'll work under Windows XP, it'll work under Windows 10, 11, whatever. You don't have to worry about um, you know, weird signed drivers or native Bluetooth implementations. You're literally just sending UART data through the program they give you. Um, so I think that was actually pretty wise. I've, I've noticed, um, you know, a lot of companies that have Bluetooth programmability, they just go with these Blue Giga dongles because they are um, very simple. Okay. Um, so when you program it, first off, you know, I tried this myself. I downloaded their uh, programming software for the PLC, plugged in the dongle, and it just worked. It detected the COM port just fine. It detected the device just fine. And then when you connect to it, you get this kind of like, again, I've never really used these, so it's kind of interesting because it's like, it's like flow programming. Um, but like everything happens at once, so it's kind of like a cross between left FPGA, CPLDs, um, and you know block-based programming. So at the top, um, you can see it says like logic and um, you know, you know math and whatever at the top. Um, you can select different tools. So like here, I selected logic, so you can see there's like AND gates and NOR gates and inverters and whatever. And then I think I clicked on control, and you can see there's like counters and analog inputs and filters and and you know some of these are very simple they're like basic logic converters and some of them are a lot more complicated like you can have timers and you know PID loops um, and uh, incrementers and dividers and and you know it, you can have fairly good complex um, user interfaces and again one of the nice things about PLCs is that everything kind of runs at the same time um, so you don't have to worry about logic flow control as much because it's all kind of like instantaneous it's not meant for complicated programming situations. Um, you know, there's like no Wi-Fi interface here, JSON parsing, but it's really good for like, take some inputs, process them, and then give you outputs um, without having to worry about, um, uh, you know, cross-contamination of, of, of logic streams. Okay. Um, okay, so after you, you know, design your program, you can save it, you can compile it, and then you upload it over Bluetooth, and yeah, it worked, um, it works just fine, it's kind of cool. 
Um, so if you, you know, you can program it and debug it all over BLE um, whenever you, um, you know, want to upload new code and you can also password protect it uh, so people can't download it or reprogram it. Um, another thing that was interesting is because this PLC does not have a LCD or TFT display, you might be wondering, okay, what if I want to get debug output or I want to like, you know, there's a count output and I want to see the count or I want to do another other analysis. Well, all, again, over Bluetooth, what's really nice, you can use an app um, to do the debug and interface, um, debug and, and user interface when needed, right? Because a lot of PLCs, they you're not constantly pressing the buttons and um, reading the output. It's only for like when you're doing the analysis and debugging. And so you can basically download the app for iOS or Android, install it on your computer, and then you can see like this simulated um, LCD output and you have button inputs as well. So you can do diagnostic checking and download data logs um, and stuff like that. So I think what I thought was really neat about this is like I've never really done anything with PLCs, but I was actually able to get going and, and get it working quite quickly. And um, it was kind of shocking to me how easy it was. So I think that even though this is uh, a very cute, adorable little um, PLC, it could be also really handy for anyone uh, who's doing either advanced stuff and just doesn't need a lot of inputs and outputs, only four inputs, four outputs. But if you're also just like, hey, I wanna learn about PLCs and build something at home, just practice with a PLC to get that kind of training, um, which again, in, in you know, when I went to college, there was no course for it. So if I want to learn this stuff, I would DIY it. Um, pick up the BLE dongle and the PLC, and you can just play around at home, um, just like automating stuff in your room, right? To, to play around with the relay inputs and outputs, uh, analog inputs and PWM, and just see what it's like. And then you can see the, um, the debug output, diagnostic output on your phone. Available on DigiKey. And it's in stock. And it's in stock, which is the thing that's great. Um, DigiKey.com forward slash short slash ZT78W55V, and you can also search for it by typing in 966-889-3801ND, and you can also just type in the words. Uh, Cruze, uh CB8R, which is the there name of this. Maybe and I'll show it really fast on the Show overhead. it really fast, and we have and a we two minute and 45 second video that you wanted me to play. Yeah, 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 so I'll just show it, just to show how the sizing. So this is it, and these are the, the four inputs. Uh, this is power, you power it from uh, 24 volts. But yeah, you can see it's like, you, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, we need, I need it to be UL certified, and I need it to be, you know, certified in every country. Um, it's made in France, it's got the BLE Mac on the outside, and then here's the relay outputs, um, six amps a piece. It looks like six or eight amps at uh, 25 See, and then there's um, LEDs for power and Bluetooth. And it's just like so cute. You could uh, panel mount it with these two bolts or you can um, DIN rail mount it. So you can see the, the DIN rail slots here. So a very um, elegant and beautiful little controller. All right, um, we're gonna play the video and then we'll wrap up IMPI and we're gonna go to new products after that. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Robert and welcome to the Cruze Tech Lab. Today, I have the opportunity to introduce you to one of the most exciting and revolutionary products in the small-scale automation market. It's Cruze's Millennium Slim. So simply put, a logic controller is the brain of your application. It takes inputs, which are wired here, and within the logic controller, they're gonna process instructions and send those instructions in the terms of a signal to an output. Cruze specializes in making logic controllers that are easy to use, easy to program, and are favored by both experts and beginners. And Millennium Slim represents the latest in Cruze's innovative line of Millennium controllers. Millennium Slim is the only internationally recognized industrial grade logic controller in such a narrow package size. In fact, it's 17.5 millimeters narrow. It's the same as a timer relay in its profile, and it literally can fit in your pocket. This means you can put logic control in almost any application anywhere, and it's easy to mount too. You have two options. There's a DIN rail mounting feature. You can see those features here or you can see screw holes here, and that allows you to panel mount it in your application. Millennium Slim is in a compact profile, but it packs a lot of functionality. It's got four convertible inputs, 
Two of them are high-speed digital, which is ideal for encoders or tachometers, and two are PWM, or pulse width modulation. On the output side, the four outputs can either be relay or solid state. Solid state gives you the option of having PWM, which is ideal when you've got an application that's frequently turning on and off. It has Bluetooth wireless communication already integrated, so one Millennium Slim can easily communicate with another up to 20 meters away. This gives you the opportunity to control a number of different applications that interact with each other. The product is designed for use with Cruze's virtual display app. You see it demonstrated here on this smartphone. Cruze Virtual Display is a way to view or modify the program either on a smartphone or on your laptop or PC. You can also download the data log on your smartphone using Cruze's Virtual Display. Hi, I'm MPI.